Hi. So today we are going to study the laws of reflection. A good example is right over here. Okay, you might be able to see this. So instead of giving me giving you directly the laws like angle of incidence equal and the angles of reflection and then uh, all are in the same plane, let us see why these laws are true. How can we come up with these laws? So let me just uh, okay about diagrams. Suppose you get a plane, something like this, and here there are pole. Okay, this is a pole, and this pole emits light. You have a bulb on top. Okay, and say you have another pole. Suppose something like this. Okay, good enough. And here's a guy who receives light. Good enough. And you know we can say that there's some obstruction here. so light directly can't go through to to the observer and this is a very special plane this is a mirror okay a straight mirror this is a, how we denote a mirror we puts little slashes below the surface before the before the reflecting surface okay and we need to study how light will start from the source go on bounce from the mirror reflect from the mirror a more technical term and then reach the observer now how can we go about it and the important thing is we need to replicate this pole right below the mirror so that's what a mirror does right so we just uh, like literally replicate this okay, it's good enough okay and just replicate this And now, what will happen? Well, we start labeling this. Okay, this A, okay. This point, let us say B. This is C, and this is some C dash. Okay. And what can, what path will light take? Of, uh, of obviously, light, light will go from A and meet the mirror at some point, and then go to C. Now, here's what I want you to realize. Okay. Light will go from A to say this point O, and then to C. This path is equivalent to light taking the path A to O to C dash. Okay, why? But because see, the medium doesn't change. The medium doesn't change, therefore light won't suffer any bending. And the path lengths, okay, will this path and this path will be equal. Let me just draw it. Okay. There you go, and that's how. That's how. Oops. Nice. Now these two parts will be equivalent. Okay, this one and this one. That's what I need you to understand. So light going from A to this point O, then to C. Okay, is as good as light going from A to O to C dash. This, this point. Okay. Now, now let us use some geometry. Okay, now what I want you to keep this in mind, and we will do some geometry. Okay, basic geometry. And this angle and this angle is ninety degree. Okay, yeah, and uh, these two lengths are equal. We have replicated this, and this side is this length is common. Which criteria holds these two triangles congruent? S S criteria, right? So because of S A S criteria, yes, criteria. we can say that triangle okay triangle ocb ocb is congruent to triangle oc dash b oc dash b again this is a really important thing part now see given two points in the same medium a light wants to travel from a to c dash because we we just shown that The, these two parts a o and c dash is uh, is equivalent to a o and c now if light is uh, traveling from one point to another in the same medium which path will it take a straight line right light will take straight line now if this thing is a straight line if this thing is a straight line and the mirror is straight okay now these two angles 
will be equal right these are vertically opposite angles boy and for short now this angle b equal to this one okay right over there vertically opposite okay so what can we do now a minute ago we just proved these two triangles are equal right o c dash and b and this triangle is congruent to o c and b what can we say about these two angles well these two angles of course must be equal right because we have these two triangle these two triangles are congruent therefore these two angles must be equal or we can you know if you want to write this we can say that angle uh, c ob is equal to angle c dash ob okay another important part now now we have just shown that these two angles will be equal and now you are almost done right so let's let me just replicate it for simplicity okay really that's the part we want and if these two angles are equal okay let me say this is theta this is theta and we draw normal okay and normal is right 90 degree to a plane so this is a plane of a mirror and like this like this line will be a normal okay now this is a normal this is 90 degree this will be 90 degree and therefore this angle will be 90 Minus theta. This angle will also be ninety minus theta. Now these two angles are equal. These two angles also are also equal. And so if you draw the normal in this final diagram, you can call this angle as I, angle of incidence, because this is the incident ray, and this angle is R. We have we have just shown we have just shown that okay, angle of incidence angle I is equal to angle R. Okay. Now, what about the second law of reflection that they lie on the same plane? See, in this we have assumed that the medium is homogeneous and isotropic, so light will not change its path. Therefore, these three incident ray, reflected ray, normal will lie on the same plane. This is the plane of the board in this case. Now that that's all. That's we have we have done proving proving the laws of reflection reflection. As a result of for much principle of least time. Now, I hope it really really helps. And now you understand why these laws are true.